Hello all, today in this video, I am going to provide an implementation of a multi-class simple uh, basic CNN image classification with four classes. Uh, so, uh, that is, uh, so as, as usual, to run as a code in Python, we have to import the libraries. The libraries which we am, I am using here are the TensorFlow library, then Matplotlib, then Amphi, then CV2 OS and then uh, Terra's TensorFlow Keras and uh, in that we are just using image data generator and image so just we can import the libraries then uh, I'm valid using the train in order to train and uh, validation the prepare the train and the validation data set I am rescaling them to 255 so if they are having any different pixels means uh, so for that we are just re uh, rescaling within 255 and uh, just this thing is also done so then we can just call the data set for the training and the validation function so for the training and validation previously I have uh, some images in my data same folder with the train data set and that uh, train folder and the validation folder having four classes such as cats, dogs, horses, etc. So that I am calling with the data directory data underscore dir and data underscore dir v. Uh, data underscore der is used using to call the train folder and the direct directory dir v calls the validation folder this data directory and data directory validation i'm just calling within the flow underscore from underscore directory function and uh, here i'm just setting the image size as 200 comma 200 since uh, every images if there are of say different sizes i'm just resizing them all the images in the folder into a single size which is 200 and 200 here batch size i have given as three since uh, why i am given three means i'm just using some amount of images you already we have run the code whether it is check uh, to check whether it is running or, or not so while running uh, you can see it is having four classes but only 80 images for a best cnn model that is a deep learning not only cnn a best machine learning and deep learning model as the number of images increases only the accuracy uh, increases but uh, here i am just using 80 since it's a simple images simple uh, implementation code i am just using 80 images so only I have given the batch size as 3. If you are having some different number of images, that is high number of images, means please provide an increased number of batch size. So then I am just uh, calling the uh, training and the validation data set. So in order to see the classes, how many class labels are there in the training, we, you can just call this uh, uh, line that is training training is the training data set which we have created and dot classes will just show the classes number of classes which this uh, uh, data set is having so already i said that our data set is having nearly 20 uh, uh, four images uh, sorry four uh, classes of images and each classes will have nearly 20 images so totally 80 images for in validation each class will have nearly 5 test uh, images and 20, totally 5 into 4 20 images so now the finding the number of classes in the training data set is also done and then we can just define the cnn model uh, so in the cnn model within the sequential function we are just calling all the labels all the layers uh, in this uh, simple CNN that is a uh, convolution neural network model. So the layers uh, only I am just uh, stacking five layers since it is a simple CNN model. The layers which we have used are the flattened layers, convolution 2D layer, max pooling 2D uh, layer, then dense layer etc. So in the convolution 2D layer we have just used the filters, uh, uh, define the filter size, then pool size the activation function and the input size why i am giving 200 because previously we rescaled the images to 200 into 200 and since the uh, dimensions is 3 we have just added 3 and then 
we are uh, defining the max pooling layer with the pool size and then the flatten layer with the uh, layer size and that and also the activation layer since uh, we, it, we are using multi class activation we are i just mentioned the activation layer as relu if you need some other activation function uh, or a better system if you put uh, for multi class classification softmax means it will be better but in this code i have given relu we can just check with the uh, soft max in the next uh, video so then just i am compiling this code and this to compile the code i have just used the categorical cause entropy loss function if you are the model is a binary model means you have to use binary cause entropy but our model is a uh, multi class model so we have i am just using my categorical cause entropy optimizer i am just using the normal default optimizer which is adam and i have to display the metric since i have given accuracy then i am training the model by calling the training variable training then the testing variable that is validation underscore data set approaches i have given 20 if you want some other means please give so now we can just run our code so it will be run for nearly 20 approaches the first approaches is running you can see the first thing uh, our approaches is uh, increasing but it's not as much increasing as expected it is mostly within uh 45 percent only the maximum percent which we got is 45 only so in the next video we can just see how to increase the accuracy in a simple cnn model uh, the basic step is to increase the number of data sets apart from that in the next simultaneous video we can just check out to increase the accuracy of the cnn model thank you